Hi, I'm Barry from Maker City Gaming, and this is the Periphery. This is mission three, the third mission. Um, actually, it's the fourth mission in the book, but we skipped one because we were successful. It was like a, a branching campaign, so we, we took the left branch instead of the right branch, and we ended up here. So awesome. And ba -ba -da -ba, let's have a look at the mission. This is Decapitate. Decapitate. So we were ambushed and we succeeded in, in uh, taking out the the gangers that were ambushing us when we got into the city. Uh, okay, let's read this. After running the gauntlet, entering the city, you now turn your thoughts towards obtaining a base of operations. Good idea. Somewhere you can lay your head, stash your things, begin to make a name for yourselves on the street. The Jews who just attacked you must have must have a base of operations. Probably some rat-ridden stom hole, but luxury compared to the cursed earth. Having already reduced their numbers, you decide to follow the trail of scrawling to their HQ. So, uh, in their infinite wisdom, they tag the wall scrawl in, in uh, Mega City Speak, but they tag the walls with their names or the names of their gang. Woo. And, uh, yeah, I'll just follow that and get to their hideout. There you go. So, a few hours of staking out the abandoned Munts factory they are using as an HQ, you spot the leader. It should just be a case of cutting off the head and the Jews will just scatter. There's no loyalty here, only fear. I spot a typo in this, but uh, don't worry. Uh, you pick your time when most of the Jews are out tapping vulnerable newcomers or selling ziz and crawl through the maintenance duct to an empty storeroom in their base. All right, so we have to take out the leader. That's what we've got to do. Right, set up a table, which we've already done. As you can see, this is uh, this is the warehouse, and <clears throat> this outside a bit, we're not going to interact with that. <coughs> it's just to give a bit of context. <clears throat> There's a the car that they use, and then this is the upturned car that they they were using until recently. <clears throat> Too much ziz. Uh, pool table? No. Uh, what's it called? Shuggy table. Uh, and so on. Let's have a look. Where do we put things? Hostiles. There should be four Jews and a leader. Okay. Same as before. However, this leader is a bit stronger. Because <coughs> he's the gang leader and not just the Juve leader. Not sergeant, but uh, captain. Ooh. Yeah. So he's a little bit stronger. Stamina three. Shoot two. Fight two. <laughs> right. Um... Four Jews and leader. Leader starts in the furthest room from the team, and then one Juve in each other room, and then doubling up if necessary. Put five hostile activation tokens in the bag. Uh, stat cards for each hostile type are provided, and include a couple of different weapon options. We'll just do the basic weapon option. Um, place the team in a room near the edge of the board, and the activation tokens in the bag. Right. Okay. So I've decided... Uh, this room is where the leader is going to start, the Juve leader, because this is his office. You've got your filing cabinet, you've got your console, got your refrigerator, refrigerator. And then we'll put, we'll put the leader here, we'll put a ganger in each other room, and then one other ganger probably in here with the, uh, with the leader. And then we're going to start here. It says mine, I, I mislabeled that, uh, but it doesn't matter. This is going to be like a, a maintenance duct. We crawl out just in front of the toilet, yeah, uh, rather them than me, but there we go. I'm going to crawl out the drain, and then, uh, yeah, then we'll see, right. <clears throat> so that'll be all five of us. Um, so I'm going to put all five of us. By the drain. Come on. That's so annoying. Okay. Gravity on this particular miniature is 
really, bang, really annoying. Yeah, I need to fix that somehow. Anyway, whatever. So I'm setting up, <coughs> setting up the team. There's Clive, the dog, the Robo dog. That can go up the front. We do have to open doors though, which Clive can't do. Uh, so no hostiles start in the room that we're starting in. Uh, so let's get the Juve leader. Same miniature as before. He'll be at his desk. Just there. The other Juves. One in each room. Um, picking the, the same Juve as we used before, but it is... It's got a spit gun, so it's not exactly weak. They're weak, but their weapons are quite effective. So, uh, One in each room, so one in the middle there, one in the middle here, one in the middle there, one, two, three, one in the middle here. So these, these are beds. It's probably where they sleep and by the entrance, looking after their stash. Entertainment room, storage storage yeah headquarters yeah and then, hey, get the last one out stick that in the middle of that room boom there you go right turn one uh noise rules let's have a look at the noise rules it, it's default one um door and spawn cards are not used in this mission however Look at the stealth rules. As long as the team remains quiet and out of sight of the Jews, the hostiles will spend their activations scrolling tags on the walls or counting their creds. One action to move in a random direction until blocked by terrain and one action to scroll or count. So they get two, two actions each. One action will be move in a random direction and then the other action will be to do, you know, just scroll something or tag something. Basically, they just use one action because they're not in a hurry. They're just chilling out in the, in their HQ. If their moves end, if their move ends at a door, the second action will be spent to open that door. Okay, that makes sense. And then, as soon as a team moves into line of sight, the gang is alerted to the team's location and spends activations according to their profile, which is the same as before. Um, getting cover and Overwatch. Right. Um, I'm just going to spawn. It's going to spawn something. Uh, where is it? Game tools. I need a scatter die. Um, we're going to use that for direction. You can use anything for direction, like. You roll this, uh, whatever, way up, you know, it points, you know, uh, like, ooh, okay, the the shield is pointing that way, so it goes that way, you know, uh, but I'm going to use this, just to be clear, so, yeah, use the scatter die to see where they go, right, um, and we start with 50 credits, and that's the top of turn one. <clears throat> right, top of turn one. Uh, activation tokens. All the activation tokens go in the bag. So that's uh, five baddies. One, two, three, four, five. And one star activation token for the heroes. Yeah, that's how they like to refer to themselves. So one, two, three, did I get four? Five. Yeah, five. Five bad and five good. Let's pull that into this bag. Whee. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And what does it say about noise? Use the noise rules in the hazard section, but instead of spawning an enemy when failing a noise roll, the Juve gang will be alerted to the break in. Okay. Okay, right, so yeah, basically, um, so the leader's over here, uh, so, which we would know, because we crawled, <clears throat> we crawled through the drainage 
pipes underneath all these rooms and got quite a good layout and we know where his lair is and where he spends most of his time we were in the sewers listening um to what's going on upstairs and uh then we pop out pop out our heads right shuffle 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 let's pull pull a token any token it's the good people's ad it is a star activation token a star activation token right so the most likely to be able to reactivate is gladys and for the purposes of whatever um heroes can move through friendly models as long as they are clear when they stop moving makes sense um because i'm not gonna say whoa stop where you're going no the the line the line's drawn here uh for friendly models but i would say that to hostiles yeah right so gladys you're gonna move yeah you're gonna move five you've got five so one two three um now quickest way hmm we need to get yeah what we should do really is open the door and let him come to us or open the door and charge Just go, go in. As soon as he shoots, though, if he gets a chance to shoot, it's noise three. Significantly, significantly increasing our chance of alerting the whole base. Uh, <clears throat> we should probably get set up into reasonable positions open the door get into town or we could just open the door and hope we can silence him yeah let's do that we can do that all right second action to open the door we're going to try and silence him before he gets a shot off uh, so second action open the door which creates one noise all right Uh, actually, no, because uh, as soon as the team moves into line of sight, the gang is alerted. So, yeah, as soon as, as, soon as he sees us, he's going to shout. We've got, uh, we, we, excuse me, fellows, we have an, a break in, yeah. That's how they talk on the streets in the, this particular hood. <laughs> Biff, screw it. Um, we're gonna be able to do that. We're gonna do that and see if we can buoyed by by our success in the last mission. I, I think we're gonna we're gonna feel quite successful. Should we do that? Should we do that? Or should we just leave the door closed and get into position and then open the door? Because right now we're not. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So, yeah. Sorry. Take that all back. Let's put the door back. You never saw that. Retconning. Retconning. Right. Doors staying closed, mate. Right. She's going to stay here. That was a action. If she can. She can't go into Overwatch because it doesn't have a range weapon. So there's no point. Oh, well, no, there is a point of getting that back in the bag, I tell you. So we roll three dice and we try and get critical because she's got uh, dexterity three. So. No, it does not go back in the bag. She's spent. Spent she is. Right, next. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Oh, right. Well, actually. The near, if, if they've already been, it's better for us. So, if they've already activated everyone, 
and then we open the door, they can't do anything immediately. So that's good, isn't it? We, we get that all sorted out. We get, yeah, we're trying to do that. Right, anyway. The nearest to the leader, Jixson, is here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so this guy's going to go. He's nearest to the leader, so he's going to go first. He's going to move in a random direction. Right. So basically straightforward until he reaches a door <laughs> and then he's going to open it oh that's bad luck wasn't it thought things are going so well then he's going to open it Boop. okay and as soon as he does that ding ling 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 second action to the door and then free action to shout way hey uh, fellows, we have an incursion. Right. So, uh, noise rules are now ignored. They know we're here. They're going to... Yeah. Right. Yes, they are. Quee. Right, friendlies. Okay. Well, at least we can do something about this guy. Uh, let's get Clive on the case. One, two, three, four, five. His move is six. He's going to go here. And his second action is to attack, which means that action becomes a charge because move plus attack equals charge. Uh, all right, Clive, show us what you got. Fight three, power two. Fight three, power two. Fight three, power two. Fight three, power two. Immune to pinned. Okay, very good. Right. Uh, fight three, power two. So, one, two, three. So, fight three, power two. But actually, it's power three. It's actually it's power three. Uh, because he charged. Against. Stamina one, no armor. Ooh. Unlucky for some, maybe, but yeah, it's quite swingy, so it's not very good, is it? Right, well, it's not very good for the defender. The attacker. Well, that critical is undefended. That critical goes straight through and takes out one of his stamina, which means he's gone. At least... Yeah, all right. Boom. Gonna just delete him. Delete him. And his activation token. Goodbye. Right, so that wasn't too bad, actually. And um, actually the, the crits are you know quite powerful. Um but they're def you know, if the defender rolls a crit as well, then they're they're one for one defended, so hmm. So it's like rolling a six, yeah. So super, super powerful, omnipotent. Right, next. Uh, so no, uh, pretty good so far, pretty good so far. Whoop. Right, star it. No, that's not right. Shouldn't have that in there. Oh. No, 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 no. It should only be... Yeah, I left my activation tokens in there from the last game, didn't I? That's not fair at all. Let's clean this up. So there should be... There should be four friendlies. And... One, two, three, four... Yeah, four of each. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's delete all these. Sorry about that. 
So actually, that wasn't very fair, was it? We're going to be fair from now on. Yeah, wouldn't happen in real life. It's because I keep spawning things and, you know, I'm a chronic spawner. That's me. Right, friendlies, anyway. Actually, no, what? One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five. Okay, now that's fair. Get it right, man, get it right. Anyway, friendlies, I'm not going to wreck on that because uh, we're winning. Um, PG Tetley, come on. Should we get you? Woo, actually, woo. Woo is quite good. And now we've not got to worry about noise. We can get woo into Overwatch if that person. No, because we want woo taking out the leader, don't we? Yeah, yes, we do. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. By the door. Get him up by the door. Let's do that. By the door. Right, now there's the correct number of stuff in there. It should be fair now. From now on, yeah. There you go. Fair. Can't say fairer than that. Right, nearest to the leader is... Where's Jigson? All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. it's uh, this guy. Or girl, or uh, whatever. One, two, three, four, five. Right, one, two, three, four. Where was he there? One, two, three, four. He's going to go there, and he's going to open the door like that. That's for a second action. He's in cover though, so he like got to the side of the door and then PAM the control panel, PAMed it he did, gave it a nice PAMing, and then uh, gonna peek around the corner in a minute and see what's in there. He ain't stupid, you know, not like those zombies in the other mission. Right, uh, shuffle, 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 quits, right. Next nearest, this one or this one, let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, or thereabouts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. This one. Um, of course, in the real world, in the, if it was a real game, I'd just get my tape measure out. To, it'll take about seconds, there wouldn't be any counting, but I'll tell you what, um, using squares is, or hexes, or um, whatever is easier than um, using a tape measure, usually, except if you're measuring like distance, as in long range. I digress. Um, it's probably going to go this way, but again, one, two, three, four, five. What is he going to get? In? He's probably going to get in cover, isn't he? Yeah, I think we're going to let. They shout an order is orders to each other. Those two have been told to uh, check the bathroom out because you know he, the guy that was here or the person that was here, said the the toilet, the, the, the people, the, the, the. yeah. So they know they're in the toilet. So they're coming toilet. They're, they're coming this way. And this one, he's got to protect the leader. So he's going to get into cover by standing right there. Um, yeah, he would. he's going to go into Overwatch next, next turn. Uh, he can't do it this turn because it's a two-action thing. And he moved, so there you go. It's fair. It's fair, I tell you. Right. Right, I'm not searching, wrong wrong button. Shuffle. Put right, this is only turn one. Things have already gone mental. It's only turn one. You won't get that in turn one in any other game. Uh well, you might do, but not not the games I've played. Which seem to be like a, a, a dice 
Roll for, for save. Roll to, for pet the bismol. Roll for... Roll for argument. It's the argument phase. Right. Um, roll for power gaming. Right. Uh, anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's going to spend both his actions to move up to here. Or PG Tetley. Because he's like way out in the open. Jigson's in cover. So. No, I'm not doing That's all right. Go back to where you came from. Right. That's the bad people's. We're plonker. Um, what a plonker. I've, I've been up since five, so. Excuse me. So who's nearest? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60, 80. It's probably this guy, so, uh, or lady, or, uh, whatever. Right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. No, where was he? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. He's going to hide behind those shelves. Because he ain't a plonker either. Probably could have... No, bollocks. He's going to stay where he is and go to Overwatch. Because he was behind his desk. He's in cover anyway, so... That makes complete sense. Looking at his card. Get in cover. Overwatch. So, he's in cover, so Overwatch. Right. Where are you, Overwatch? Whee! There you go. You get your Overwatch tokens. Something I always forget to do, by the way. Is uh, yeah, moving fast. You moved fast. Yeah, you open the door, you charged, you moved fast. You moved fast, didn't you? No, you didn't. You moved up to the door and opened it. So the only person that moved fast was Wu. He moved up to the door. Uh, he moved up to there. But that wasn't double move, that was just uh, moving into cover. So there you go. All's fair. All's fair. Still turn one. We've got one casualty. Um, everyone's in cover. They're all waiting behind their... Yeah, the, the, the leader is behind his desk um, with a big bowl of ziz. You know... Z the the blue ziz powders like stuck to his face and his lips and he's like you know you'll never take me alive coppers because he thinks this is a raid by uh, what am I doing so he thinks this is a raid this ain't no raid it's a raid but it's not you know you're uh, raided by the judges it's not a raid by the judges that's why we go around shooting people indiscriminately because the judges don't do that of course they don't <laughs> uh, anyway I digress I'm talking can't stop talking mate um, what have we got Jigson PG Telly let's get PG Telly out of the way like I did just a minute ago he's got a double move over to here um, up to the door and that's a double move so that's the moving fast token there you go boom so what does that moving fast token mean? Well, it just means if someone shoots these people, they're harder to hit. So the their attack gets minus one dice. Minus one dice, dice pool game, minus one dice, plus one dice. That's how it works. Um, right, next. <laughs> Friendlies, right. Um, Jigson could go into Overwatch knowing that this door's been opened and that he's in cover. Um, or he could. Right, let's have a look. He's obviously facing that way. If there's no facing in this game, not like another game that I could mention, which actually... Each to their own, but no, nah, not for me, mate. Not not for me. Not facing, especially not a ninety degree arc and a hundred and eighty degree arc. Um, yeah. Well, 
line of sight, yes, he's obviously peeking around the corner. This is the whole square that he's in because squares, because magnetized, see, he, it, it, if it uh, snaps to the, the center of the grid. So, yeah, anyway, this is uh, specifically put here to provide cover. This is obviously can't see through here, can't see through here, can't shoot through there, but here, yes. Uh, but this one, this is, see that line? Um, you can't see around that. So it, this guy can't be shot, but he also can't shoot unless he moves. Uh, so there you go. That's how that works. So he's going to go into Overwatch. Yeah, he's going to go into Overwatch. Overwatch. Yeah, this is a professional outfit. Yeah, it's not their first rodeo. He's going to go into Overwatch, covering the door. Because um, he knows their strategy. And he heard them shouting orders, yeah, is to come. Both of these good. Both of these peoples are going to come this way, flush us into the main room. Flush. Hence, the toilet. Oh, look, it's clean. Hmm, interesting. They must get a cleaner in, like, uh, once a week. Anyway, uh, is that the end of the... Oh, there's one left. Shuffle. Put it out. It's them. It hasn't been. This one hasn't been. Right, move up to door, open door. Uh, again, move up to door. There's no point in standing in the doorway. That's what fools do. Open door, move up to door, open door, and there you go. His action is done. Right, it's the end of the turn. So what we can do is because Overwatch, we can choose to stay in Overwatch, this one, or this one. This one's obviously going to stay in Overwatch, so his activation token stays there. Let's have a look on here. What does it say about Overwatch? Overwatch, can shoot hostile, that begins or ends activation token. Yeah, activation line of sight, two actions. So it can, it can stay in Overwatch, uh, but that also means his activation token stays there. Same with uh, this one. I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, he's going to do that, obviously. Because uh, he's just waiting for the doors to open and us to walk in. Makes sense. Um, everyone else. This one. Back in the bag. This one back in the bag. Uh, okay, moving fast token. That goes... This one, moving fast token goes. This one goes back in the bag. That one goes back in the bag. Back in the bag, back in the bag. That one goes back in the bag. So we've got three hostiles and one in Overwatch and four friendlies and one in Overwatch. These go back in the bag. Back in the bag, back in the bag. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Right, end of turn one. Well, that was nuts. <laughs> right, this is turn two. Only turn two, and so much has already happened. Um, but I am quite enamoured with this game. <clears throat> so, um, anyway. Let's see, let's we'll just put a token, see what happens, yeah? Shuffle, 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 pull a token, it's the good guys, and it's a star token. Right, um, we could get Gladys up to the door. Get Gladys up to the door. Open the door. Get Gladys up to the door, open the door. That's her two actions. She's got a chance of putting that back in the bag by rolling three dice, because that's her dexterity, I believe. So, roll, 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 roll. 
Nope. Nope. Not a chance. Right. So that doesn't go back in the bag. Too bad. Gladys, too bad. Right. And. Uh, ah, itchy eyeballs. All right. Let's see what. Uh, can shoot hostile that begins or ends activation. So she ended activation token in. She ended activation in line of sight to this person, the leader. Yeah, she is in line of sight. She's in cover, but she is in line of sight. Uh, is she within range? Let's see, shall we? 1 to 12. Right, let's find out. Um, going diagonally straight across. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, she's in range. Um... So he's going to take a, an immediate pot shot. Um, and shoot hostile, yeah. So he gets a free shot. Um, so shoot two, power two. Shoot two, power two. Armor piercing two. Oh, that's not good. And reload. So... We can ignore the reload for this because this is uh, not his activation. <laughs> oh, it is his activation, but yeah. Um, target suffers minus two after this attack. Okay. Yeah. So if that target was beyond, was it 12 inches? Um, he can still shoot, but it just gets a minus two. Um but you scream at the screen, but you're going to see his shoot is only two. So two minus two is zero. Yeah. However, if an attack or shoot is ever reduced to zero dice, you can roll one dice and uh, crits still count. So uh, although hits won't count, you won't hit it, but you might get a crit. Um, yeah, lucky shot, you know, lucky shot. Basically just roll a six. If you got those old school dice, right? Old school dice. <laughs> what am I talking about? Where were we? He's going to take a pot shot. Stop putting it off. Stop putting it off. So he's got shoot two, power two, armor piercing two. That is effed up, man. Um, shoot two, power two, armor piercing two. Uh, cover. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, target and cover is minus one. Yeah, so minus one to the attack. Boom. So there you go. You got one dice, Mister. Um, but you got armor piercing. So he is shooting. He's shooting Wu because he can see Wu. Can't see. Can't see Gladys, but he's shooting Wu. Um. Actually, no. No, no, no. No, let's read that. Can shoot hostile, that begins or ends activation token. Activation uh, in line of sight. So actually, she didn't end her activation token. Uh, activation in line of sight. So, no. He's going to save that until someone else get, moves into line of sight. Yeah. Because I, I thought he could see her, but he can't. He can see Wu. And Wu did not end his activation in line of sight. So, fine. Uh, so, there you go. Um, she opened the door. That's it. Right. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay, now it's a bad people's. Uh, he's going to shoot. Or she. Let's have a look. He or she. Let's have a look at the miniature. So um, if I'm making you dizzy, my pointless quest for clarity. Nah. Don't know, man. Could be a she. It's got a bit of a Sinead O'Connor going on. Could be an, an it. A they. Whatever. Whatever. Right. 
Yes, Juve, you are definitely going to shoot Wu. Right, Juve, shoot one. Uh, Wu doesn't have any cover. So shoot one. Rapid fire one, which means... Uh, plus one shoot, so shoot two. Shoot two versus... Woo's six. Yeah, Woo's six. So shoot two versus Woo's six. One, two, three. A four, five, six. Right, so there's a hit right there. So Woo gets pinned immediately just from that hit and then and then there's a quit right there nah. um, power one so it's another dice okay so two hits two hits and a crit right uh, so we roll three defense we roll three defense However, um, so defends are more than uh, sorry, defends are more than attacks, uh, but not double. So uh, defends are more than attacks. So nothing happens because it's not doubled. Okay, that's fine. However, this crit right here, yeah, I can see you crit. Takes a wound. He's lost a stamina. Oh, stamina's going to put that on his card. That's not good. That's not good at all. Boom. Here you go, Woo. Lost a stamina, didn't you? Right. Okay. That was his first action. He's going to do that again. He's going to do that again. Right, so two shoot versus uh, stamina is reduced, so it's now five defense. Only five. Right, so yeah, miss, miss, defends more than double hits, so. Uh, Woo, you get a free attack. You get a free attack or free action. Free attack action? Uh, yeah, Defender gets an immediate free action. So, Woo can move out of the way, get into cover, or probably one, two, three. Probably going to attack, isn't he? Yeah. Stand there and attack. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Like a buffoon. Is he going to do that? Again, again, cover. If he gets into cover, he will be too close to this one to attack it. But someone else could take him out. So get him up into cover. Clive comes in and takes him out. Yep. Yeah. How's about that? Makes sense? Yeah, let's do that. But if he, if he ends his action here... But he didn't end... It, no, it's not his activation, it's a free action, so... There you go. It's so tactical. So tactical. Yeah. So very, very tactical. He's definitely not going to retreat. Let's give, let's give him up. Right, one... Two, three, four, five. Free action, boom. Free action, boom. Perhaps his move is four, so you go there. Because, oh no, he can't do that. Boom, no, he can't do it. Sorry. What am I talking about? Um, he can't move because of this. So his free action is going to be get rid of pinned. It's going to shrug it off. Stand back up. You know, he's like that. And then stands back up. 
Yep, your bullets cannot harm me. My wings are like a shield of steel. Right, anyway. So that was his two actions. Next. Oh, it's a bad people's. Uh, oh, it'd be this one, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Because this guy should have probably gone first because he's nearest to the leader, but whatever. Um, he can't shoot from there because he can't see. But he can get behind these crates and shoot from there. So he's going to move around to there. Into cover. One action, second action to shoot. And Jigson gets cover for that. So uh, shoot one, but it's rapid fire one. Yeah. Shoot one, rapid fire one. Yeah, easily within 12. In cover. So you get one dice. So shoot one. Rapid fire one, two dice, cover, minus one dice, boom, there you go. Versus Jigson, who has, actually he's got a wound, so five defense. Oh dear. Oh. Let's get all that out of the way. So, no, 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 no. So one, one attack, five defense. Ooh, manip manipulating dice with a mouse. Right, so the attack did nothing, and all the defense did loads. Jigson gets a free action, with which he's going to shoot. So he shoot. It take this. Yeah, he's going to take. He gets a free action. Actually, he gets his Overwatch. He move. He moved. He shot, he missed, he gets his overwatch shoot first, no, he gets, well, uh, what am I talking about, he gets the, this uh, reaction and then, then he gets an overwatch, so he gets basically two shots, so two shots at this person, so uh, in cover, so shoot two, minus one for cover, Shoot one versus defense of one. Yeah, stamina one. Has he got anything else? Uh, no, wrong one. Laser reroll one defense. I can take two actions to shoot now, okay. Yeah, so we roll one defense in the attack. All right. Your shoot is only. Oh, shoot. No, wrong one. Shoot two. Okay, right. Really, really. Getting all confused. Right, there you go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Free action. Okay, that's a hit. So this person takes a pinned token straight away. Um, so hits equals defense, nothing happens. What's it? What's a power actually? Power, power one. I can roll another one. Let's hope it's a uh, three. All right, oh, that's nothing. That's nothing, but I can reroll that. Okay, that's nothing. Right, so. Now his overwatch attack, let's remove that, just delete it, boom. Um, again, same thing, so 1v1. Okay, so crit v crit. That's no pin, no nothing. That crit is cancelled out by this crit, so nothing. But we pinned him, we pinned him, that's good. Not bad. Right, next. Right, it's the friendlies. Uh, now I can get Clive up to take this 
juve out or maybe tetley but let's see one two one two three four five six not quite no one two three four five six not quite don't uh, no clive isn't quite within range to take this one out so pg tetley one two three four five he can do it move is five and then second action to whack him with his crowbar so fight is four power two because he ran heavy blow Ooh, spend an undefended critical to add plus two power to this attack all right so anyway just remember that so fight five power th two fight five power two so that's five one two three four five versus one defense only one go for it right uh defender rolls absolutely nothing that counts for nothing uh so that that crit goes through takes out his last uh stamina and all these hits mean bazongas so he is the weakest link goodbye so he moved he did that he took him out or her out that's great well done well done well done next All right, we've got uh, one friendly. We could get Clive into the action. Oh, we'll get Wu into the action. Yeah, let's get Wu. Woo. Could get Wu into here. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let me just check something I noticed on this card. Um, minimum range, three inches suffer. Minus one shoot penalty beyond up to range. Minus one move included. Okay, so Wu's move is only four. Yeah, I think I remember that last game, or maybe I didn't, but whatever. So his move is four. One, two, three, four, into cover. That's awesome. That's one action. Second action to shoot uh, this guy in cover. Actually, no. No, 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 before we do that, sorry. Sorry, mate. Don't forget that. Let's put that back in the bag. Um, he gets his overwatch shot, doesn't he? Of course. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Because PG Tetley ended his activation token in here. So, uh, shoot two. Shoot two, power two. Armor piercing two. Um, yeah, shoot two, power two, arm piercing two. Yeah. Right. Let's give it that. Shoot two, shoot two, three, one, two. Um, arm piercing, who's he shooting? PG Tetley. PG Tetley, shoot PG Tetley, yo, yo, yo. Um, armor two, but he's got armor piercing two, so that's armor zero, so stamina four. Um, so four defense, one, two, three, four. That's not very good. And it's power two as well. Okay. Okay, well. And that is defended. So those do nothing. So it's basically uh, everything misses, um, but the crit is defended. So nothing happens. That's lucky. That was well lucky. So that was his overwatch shot. Now, now, Wu is going to move one, two, three, four. And he's going to shoot with his insane gun. Uh, shoot is four, power two, 
Rapidfire 2. So shoot 4, power 2. Half range. Half range is 15, yeah. So you get plus 2 shoot. So shoot is like 6. Yeah, shoot is 6. Right, but it's minus 1, so shoot is only 5 because he's in cover. Only 5, I'm afraid. Versus uh, stamina 3, armor 1. So that's 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right, let's roll that. Dun -dun 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 Oh. Right. Okay, so defense. Those, those count for nothing. Attacks. Uh, these count for nothing. So it's two hits. So he's hit. He takes a pinned token immediately. Boom. Um, so he's hit. He hit. Double defense. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's double defense. Defender receives a stun token and removes one stamina. Okay, so he's also stunned and removes a stamina. Stunned. Oh, wrong one. Stunned. And remove stamina. So you got all those tokens, man. How much stamina do you have? We had three, now you got two. All right, not bad, not bad. Right, next. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Pull one out. It's the bad peoples. Right, here we go. Um, so that activation token goes for him, but if there's another one... Oh, it's a friendly, okay. I just thought, just wondered, couldn't remember if we deleted that guy's... That person's activation token. Person. Of course, guy could mean anyone. Male, female, robot. Um, you are going to... One, two, three, four, five. Get behind here for your first action. So he was there. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Couldn't quite reach the door. So he could. He thinks he's safe, probably moving up to the door. Then next action he can. Um, so five to then. One, two, three, four, five. We could just get behind there, couldn't he? Get, be get behind there. Then he's got that room covered. More or less. And he's in cover. So there you go. That makes sense. That's what I would do. If I was playing like Laser Quest. Or whatever. Next. Shuffle the one token. Pull it out. Alright, Clive. Uh, let's get you somewhere intelligent. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Behind the motor, in cover, but clearly moving up to. Uh... Right, he is there. He is there. Right, that is the end of turn two. So, um. Activation tokens in bag. That's one baddie, one goodie, two goodies, three goodies, four goodies. They think of themselves as goodies. Five goodies. Goody, goody. Two baddies, three baddies. Right, we're not doing bad. It's only the end of turn two. 
and we've already taken out already taken out a couple of people right in a turn two da -da -da, da -da -da. would you believe it it's only turn three and we've already cornered the leader in his room we've already taken out two of the uh, juves the juves are still moving around here they're in cover they've we, we, they've got our leader pinned actually to be honest not pinned but uh, hiding behind cover um and so we've got three of us four of us four of us moving up to here to get their leader so we could clinch it as soon as we take out the leader mission ends because as soon as the leader's done these two juves are going to go whoa <laughs> so we don't we don't need this and then whoop, go back to their mummies yeah right anyway turn three turn three we did take uh, a wound though it, it hasn't been like bloodless i'll tell you that we got two wounds right there. We have to pay to get them fixed unless we can uh, heal one while we're still playing. Then we can heal one and then heal one possibly after the mission. Anyway. Oh, excuse me. Been up since five. Right. It's a friendly. So he's going to have the honour. Let's get uh, Clive. He's quite effective. Uh, and he's got armour piercing. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah. Can't quite make it. Because cutting the corner of an object is not cricket, I'm afraid. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah. I'm gonna say that's not not doable. Fair enough. Could get a bit closer though, couldn't he? Or we could use someone else. Let's use someone else. Don't waste that action. Uh one, two, three, four, five. He can't get up. But he can get closer. Uh Wu is the only one that can do anything right now, so he can, he's gonna shoot. He's gonna shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Um, right. Power two, shoot four, uh, shoot six, minus one, shoot five. Shoot five, power two. Shoot five, power two. Is that right? Power two. Shoot five, power two. That's worth it. Right. One, two, three, four. Five power two, uh, shoot five power two versus. Uh, he's taken a wound, so he's he's now defense only four. Only four defense. Let's do it. Defend, defend, defend. Did nothing. You got so you roll one defend, sir or madam, and the attacks seem to have done it. So, uh, do I root? No, I don't. He gets, but it's oh it, no power. Don't forget the powers, because he might take him out. Um, to power two. So I roll another six dice. One, two, three, four five six so two for each of these hits right what is that what is that i'm gonna reroll that one because it's cocked can't believe you still get cocked dice these days right yeah so we we hit with all the hits we didn't get any crits so he takes another pinned which is good Uh, and hits more than double defense, so he takes 
another stunned, which is good. And he takes another wound, which brings him down to... Oh, okay. He's got one wound left, which is good. Which is good. Let's uh, separate these, actually. So we know how many he's got. So he's got one of each, or two of each. Two of everything. Collecting the set. Right. Well, that was his first action. Woo, wasn't it? What about your next action? Your next action is going to do the same. So, uh, shoot. Is five because of cover. Uh, but this time, the defense is only two. Normally four. But he took two stamina damage. So, fortunately for you, defense is only two now. So it's getting easier and easier. To do him. Hoopla, hop, hop, hop. Nice. So no defense at all. And in the attack, we got two crits and a hit. And so, yeah, we've taken him out. Boom. We took out his uh, last stamina with these crits. And we also got another pin on him. And we did all the damage. So, yes, he's gone. He's out. He's gone. This is now our base. So, um, let's delete all that. Bum, 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 bum. Delete the leader. Goodbye, leader. Um, just a little bit of tidying up before I tell you what's going on. So, Clive goes back to there. PG Tetley goes back to here. Uh, it's good. It's good news. I'll tell you that. Because that was the last mission of this um, intro campaign. And Gladys goes back to here. That also means, Jixon, if I can get you out of this terrain. Come on, Jixon, stop being a dick. There we go. Um, this also means, it also means. See, that was that was like three turns. Was that three turns? Less than three turns and we won. We could have lost in those three turns as well. So I'm going to put one juve here and you'll see why in just a minute. Uh, the other juve I'm going to delete. Delete his pin token. Um, anything else on the board? No, Okay. Activation tokens back in the bag. <laughs> right. So, you're screaming at the screen, aren't you? Get on with it! As I would be. Come on, what are you talking about? You're just talking nonsense. You're just t wasting time. I've got things to do. The important things to do. Right. Okay. The team gains a juve and a hangout, a hideout. Choose which juve joins your team from the stat cards provided. So we, we can choose um, one of those cards, like a sniper or a salt Um The hideout must be guarded. So one team member must stay there during every mission. So probably the Juve, to be honest, or anyone that's wounded heavily. Makes sense. Uh, but it also generates credits after every mission, whether successful or not, from a vice of your choosing. Roll one dice after each mission. Uh, the team can now access Sector 13 between missions and start another campaign whenever they're ready. So uh, Sector 13 is like the, the town phase. Uh, we couldn't do that before because we were just trying to get into, into Mega City 1, and once we're in, we need somewhere to sleep. So once we've got all that sorted out, which we just have, uh, we now have access to medical facilities, which we have to pay for, gambling, shopping. Ooh, shopping! Um, all that stuff we can go to, um, as well as... 
uh, worship and getting uh, good luck bonuses and stuff like that, or, or bad luck bonuses, or we could even borrow money from the uh, religious cartels in the city, um, but we have to pay it back or else. <laughs> That's another mission. Um, but whatever. So, what page is it? 113? Let me write that down. Um, so, notes. Uh, hide out. Page 113. Uh, roll after every mission. Oh, not avery, every. Uh, every mission, right. Right, there you go, that's on my notes now. Um, yeah, after every mission. Yep, yeah. awesome. Dilly dee, so I just have, to, just have to remember that. And the juve, um, I think to be fair, to be fair, we can just use the, because we didn't use these cards in this mission, so we'd, I'm going to say, because I'm a fair kind of guy, I'm going to say they are not an option to choose. If I had used these cards in this mission, I could choose them, but no, I only used this one, so I'm going to use the basic one. Yeah, there we go. Juve. Yeah. There you go. Right, so he's part of the team. Um, make him the same size as everyone else. Might even give him a name at some point. Like Brian. Bertie, right, control C, control V. There you go. Out, out, there you go. It's the same size, it's locked on the thing. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Juve. He's one of us. Yeah. Right. Okay, that is it. That's the end of the game. That's the end of the uh, intro campaign. Pretty simple, not difficult. Um, if you're lucky, um, and it's quite story driven, but it doesn't have to be, you can just drop in. If there's another option, of course, these missions or any mission, um, either follow the campaign, read the, read the narrative bit at the beginning, uh, do what it says on the, in the description, or, uh, like now. We are between missions. Oh, I need a bit of extra cash. I can go back and do a previous mission, like uh, uh, escape. That's not the one. That's not the one we did. We didn't do that. We skipped that one. But I could go back and do like a uh, ambush mission and try and get some money off the juves, uh, knowing that it's quite simple um, in theory. Um, you know. Just go back and do that anytime. Get a bit more money, do some training, get better, go back, could do it as many times as I want. Uh, mix up the uh, mix up the enemies, add some more enemies for more loot. Um, flexible, just do that as many times as I want, um, and then jump into another campaign. Sometimes in a campaign, uh, it will say like after. After this mission, if you've succeeded, then you can go back to Sector 13 and go shopping or whatever. Uh, or it might say, um, if this mission wasn't successful, then you don't have access to Sector 13 uh, until you complete the mission or you go do the next mission um, or whatever. Um, might. Whatever. Anyway, that's it. I've enjoyed that immensely. Now I have to write another campaign, a longer one, uh, at least 10 or so missions with branching narrative and such like, you know. Anyway, like, subscribe, comment below. Thank you very much.